believe, consistent to whatever they're teaching offensively and defensively. And whether you're teaching 2 3 one, one, four, one whatever you're doing offensively, there's some things consistent, and defensively there's things consistent too. And I think these are things to keep in mind when you're developing your, your, your riding and clearing your offense and defense. These are some principles always keep in mind. All right? Offense, always exchange inside the ball. Little guys don't do a good job with this. This guy has the ball, and this middie wants the ball, and he runs towards him and then runs outside of him as he's dodging. His defenseman just killed him. Okay? We always exchange between the ball and the goal. Attackman, attackman, he has the ball, he's coming towards him. You exchange inside the ball, never outside the ball. Always exchange between the ball and the goal. Unless if you don't like your teammate, exchange outside the ball so we can get whacked by two guys and he can't throw you the ball. Right? Always exchange inside the ball. Never get closer than 10 yards to the ball. How many times have you seen kids, what's your name again? Sorry. Pete. Pete has the ball and I want the ball. Right? Pete has it. And I run, I run, I run. Pete throw. Pete, 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 Pete. And run right to here. Now Pete's double teamed. I can't, I'm, not, I'm no good this close. If I'm within 10 yards of the ball and Pete hasn't thrown it to me, I'm out. I get through. Next guy, next guy. Never get closer 10 yards of the ball unless you're picking for the ball. All right? Never pick the ball under two minutes. If you're trying to hold on to the ball, don't pick to it. What a pick does, it brings two guys to the ball. There's, we pick to the ball in our offense. We want to do that. We want to try to create that. We want them to screw that up. But if we're just trying to maintain the lead, we're trying to kill the game, don't create that opportunity. Because that's a very difficult thing for the defense to do. It's also a very difficult thing for your offense to do. Don't give them the opportunity to double. So we never pick to the ball when we're, trying, when we're ahead and we're trying, to, we're trying to maintain possession. All right? Protect the seven always. This is the seven. I'm not sure why we call it seven. I have no idea why we call it that. Um, so we're running offense. We need somebody protecting the seven. It's so that nobody gets a fast break against us. Right? We should really never have a fast break against us. Now, we're doing a lot of one for one now. And, and, and you know, it's funny, when I was coaching the defense, I never wanted the offense to run a one for one. Now I'm coaching the offense, we run one for one. Um, one for ones prevent you from protecting the seven and dodging the top. It's very hard. So we always have someone protecting the seven offensively. And that's one of those things we talked about earlier about the guys getting within five yards, ten yards of the goal. I'll blow the whistle with the little guys. Don't move. Who's protecting the seven right now? They don't know. That's a big thing when the, when the, when the ball goes to the ground. Who's protecting the seven? The other thing the seven is, it's not just to protect fast breaks against us. It's a transfer point, right? X and the point, we call that X, just the point, are our transfer points. So if we're dodging over here, we have a transfer point here and a transfer point here to get the ball on this side of the field. Ball goes to the ground over here, we want a transfer point there and a transfer point there, because the ball goes to the ground, we're going to throw it twice and attack over here. So someone's always got to be here, someone's always got to be here. If we're protecting, the ball's on the ground, this guy's back between the timeline and the midfield line. If we're an offense, somebody's on this line. When do I clear through and when do I stretch? So if this midfielder is dodging to the middle, and this midfielder is here, he has two options. He has three options. One of them he should never do. If he goes this way, he's breaking Never exchange outside the ball. That's a no. He can clear through or he can stretch. So when he stretches, if not again at Don's dodging towards me, I stretch this way. I look, I'm, I'm looking at the ball. I'm stretching, I stretch away. If I clear through, I run through this way. So I'm stretching. 
the, we, we do both. We, we have an offense where you're told to clear through. We have offense where you're told to stretch. We also have reads. If Don's coming to me, and I can see that my man's the slide guy, and he's already initiated his dodge, I'm going to stretch. Right? Because if I clear through and my guy slides, Don can't throw the ball. So if I, my read is that he's the, he's the slider, I'm stretching, Don's throwing me the ball. We do that on purpose. Even when teams, we know they want to slide and crease, we'll bait this mini to go. Now the guy in the crease will slide, the mini will slide, now we got a nice easy pass right here. We got something. So the, the pack, this guy dodges down the alley. Right? When do I clear through? When do I stretch? We dodge this wing. This attackman is definitely stretching away, but looking at the ball. Always, never turn, Don's the guy with the ball. I'm not, this is not stretching. This is taking yourself out of the offense. Stretching is looking at the ball and backing up, right? Clearing through is normally done very early. Stretching, you're probably stretching because you sprained farted and didn't clear through when you're supposed to. Right? So now, now you're stretching. We will design stretches also. This guy dodges down the alley, this attackman, what do most of them do? They do that. Back. He's got to stay inside the ball, and the lower this guy gets, the more he stretches. Make sense? So teach your kids, stretch, clear through it. Use terms, one word terms. Um, there's a glossary and the things that Don's and get out to the head coaches. We have, we have very clear, concise terms. I've been accused of having too many of them or not, not, not uh, of why do you have all those? Because I can tell a kid, clear through. I don't have to give him a whole sentence. I can yell to the field, clear through. I can say stretch, not Billy, back up away from the guys so your man is a slide guy, now you back up, clear through, stretch. Right? And they're responsible to know those. We give our guys that glossary so they can study that. All right? um, is the ball carrier in pass or dodge? If, if, this, if this guy with the ball, now they won't call that out so much, but if this midi with the ball is in pass, this attack is breaking up to get the ball from him. If this guy's in dodge, that's, that's the worst thing he can do, right? He's either going to go through early or he's going to stretch or stay there for the outlet pass. So is the guy with the ball in pass or dodge? I think you can have you 13s do that. Start having them make reads. You 11s? I'm not so sure, right? But challenge them with that. When, teach them how to clear through, <clears throat> teach them how to stretch, and then have them start reading that in go two on twos. Have them make, start making read. Tell them to stretch. Tell them to clear through. That's okay. I want you to read when you do which one. And see if they can pick that up.